this morning, Eric Granstrom and I traveled not that far from my hometown in Leavenworth to Fish Lake, which is near Lake Wenatchee. It's only 20 miles from my driveway to this beautiful lake that is at about 2,200 feet. It gets a nice cap of ice in the winter, but today, in, August, in late July, mid-July, mid we're looking at temperatures of about 90 degrees. So it's a very popular spot for families to come and fish. Fish Lake has a great reputation as a good, consistently productive trout lake. A lot of the rainbow up here are, oh, you know, 10 to 12 inches, but there's always the chance of hooking a triploid that are planted here at intervals that can be four to six or even eight pounds. So that's an exciting aspect of fishing here. Our target today is yellow perch. Yellow perch are very popular also here. And Fish Lake has one of the best populations of any lake in our region. They don't get huge. They're often average around nine inches, which is plenty big enough to fillet for a great perch feed. And they're scattered throughout the lake uh, not far from the Cove Resort is a good place to start looking for yellow perch. And today we're going to take advantage of some of the technology that I have available on my Kingfisher boat, which means a Lowrance depth sounder that's going to help us spot schools of perch. And then I'm going to use my bow mount electric and put my put that down, that Minn Kota coupled with the iPilot allows me to go into anchor mode. So when I spot a nice ball of perch, I put go into anchor mode. I, excuse me, let me back up. First, what I'm going to do is throw out a marker. And that's a very handy way when I immediately spot something on my screen that looks like a ball of perch. I throw my marker out, then I go back to that with my bow mount electric and I can stay right on it by taking advantage of the anchor mode that's part of the Minn Kota iPilot system. So that's the plan. Hopefully we'll find some good batches of perch here today and get enough for a nice perch feed tonight. Go oh, Nelly. That's what we're looking for. That's a nice big pot of perch. And when we get situated here, we're going to put the bow mount down, then go to anchor mode and work on those guys. a pretty good mark on my screen so I'm going to get this marker out and it's just a simple thing to do. You toss her out there and it uh, drops to the bottom and then we know where to go back. We'll just turn the boat around, cruise back to that marker, go into anchor mode and then we'll um, get some baits down to the bottom and see if we can get these birds to bite. All right, we're approaching our marker and here as you can see this is my iPilot, iPilot control. Here's my anchor mode button. And there we go. Now this will keep our boat within five feet of that spot and we'll drift back with the wind and then it'll catch up and bring us back to that spot and it'll also record that spot for future purposes if there was a reef or a rock pile or something that you wanted to know in the future how to get to it it would record that and take the boat right to it pretty incredible device well one of the nice things about perch fishing is it isn't terribly complicated 
you can take it as far as you like, just like any other form of fishing. But for the easiest way to really get set up for perch is just a good old spinning rod. This probably has eight pound or 10 pound test on it. What I do is I start with two split shot. These are number three, right on the very end of the line. What this does, it gives me enough weight, doesn't take long to get to the bottom, and if I should hang up on something, those will just slip off the end of the line and you won't lose the rest of your gear. The rest of that gear includes, again, this is just the simplest way to rig. I just do an overhand loop knot in my main line to a hook. Now, the one thing I want to say, you don't have to use really expensive hooks, and I'd say you want to use about a size 8. That's big enough for most perch to take. The one that's big enough to keep to take, that's for sure. And then just loop a snelled leader through that. Now, this particular leader, uh, these are Eagle Call laser sharp hooks, not necessarily for the quality of the hook, but I picked them because they have a nice heavy leader. And what that does, it helps keep the line away from your main line when it's sitting on the bottom. It's just stiff enough that it'll keep some distance so that when you get down there, it's not going to wrap around your main line so readily. That's one of the things I like, a nice stiff leader. And all I've done here, uh, to transport a rig that's already set up, I just find these little corks at a craft shop and pop them on there to keep the hooks from sticking in the rest of your gear while you're traveling. And then what I did, you want to make your first hook high enough so it's not going to tangle with your sinkers. And then the next one, just high enough so it stays away from your second hook. And that way you're running and it's not unusual when you really get on the perch to catch two at a time. So that's the basic rig for perch fishing. Very simple and as I say there's some other ways you can do that but I'll tell you what day in day out that's just a simple way to get fishing for perch. The goal of Battery Systems is to provide the best products combined with the most efficient service at competitive prices. I've found their people live up to this, so don't buy anything without talking to them. You should make their batteries and accessories your choice to power your vehicles and boats. This is Dave Grable, and I choose Battery Systems to keep me running on shore and on the water. To find a Battery Systems product expert in a location near you, log on to BatterySystems.net. When you're fishing in Banks Lake, Lake Roosevelt, even Rufus Woods, the place to stay is at Cooley Playland in Electric City. They have camping and RV hookups right on the water. There's a launch with fuel and one of the best tackle shops in the area. You can get your state and tribal fishing licenses right there. Cooley Playland has been the friendly place to stay for fishermen for decades, and if you haven't camped there yet, you'll learn why. Call for reservations at 509-633-2657. Be sure to visit their website at cooleyplayland.com. The Evan Root E-Tech. It's a dream come true. For E-Tech engine sales and service and repair of all boats and motors, call Lyle's Boats and Motors in Kashmir. 663-5191. Honey, you are not going to believe this. I bought Pepsi next. What's Pepsi next? It's a new cola from Pepsi. It's got real cola taste, but 60% less sugar. Real cola taste. 60% less sugar? Mmm. Yeah, mm. <laughs> I know. It's unbelievable. Yeah. But this is the most impressive mm. thing I've ever experienced in my entire life. Oh, definitely. <laughs> Look at the camera. <laughs> I've never had anything like it. <laughs> my parents are going to fly. Yeah, they're going to be so proud. Introducing Pepsi Next. Drink it to believe it. Are you getting this, honey? It's going viral. Now, what has proven to be one of the most effective baits for perch here or any other lake that, that has perch in it are periwinkles. And what I did yesterday is I just spent some time in the Wenatchee River turning over rocks and periwinkle is essentially a caddisfly. And what they do, 
is they build their little homes out of the gravel and sand that's on the bottom and attach themselves to the rocks until they're ready to hatch and leave. And that's what the little bug looks like inside. You just have to peel the uh, shell off and ease that guy out of there. And that is perch candy right there. And what we'll do is we'll get these on our hooks, slide them down to in the vicinity of that perch ball we found, see if we can get some action. Ooh, that's good and juicy one. <laughs> Dave, talk about perch and approach and time of year. I mean, here we are, July, and uh, you're using periwinkles, but perch are year-round, aren't they? Yes, actually, you know, at Fish Lake, this is, there's sort of two periods, fishing periods for perch at this particular lake. This time of year, and this started actually probably two, th at least three weeks ago, you can start anticipating a good bite here at, at Fish Lake for perch by July at least and that's also an excellent time to be able to get the periwinkles out of the, the river and that sort of thing you know and again when you find a good bunch of perch you can do just fine on with night crawlers or baby crawlers or just regular angle worms um, this will be very good at Fish Lake and, and other lakes in the region if you can find schools of perch uh, through August, these are going to be very good quality fish. Um, the other fishing time, not only at Fish Lake, but you know, areas like Moses Lake, through the ice, uh, and some other ice fishing spots here in central Washington, right in the middle of the winter is another good time to find good bunches of quality perch and it's a great fun activity it's a huge draw in the winter here at Fish Lake I've been up here uh, I used to come up here with my wife you know 10 or 12 years ago we'd almost have the lake to ourselves but now you might find 200 people on the ice on a nice clear day in the winter here at Fish Lake and it's just a lot of fun people just bring out their chairs and shelters and make a cook chili and just have a great time on the ice here at Fish Lake in the winter. Hi, I'm Dave Graybill, the Fish and Magician, and I'm sitting in front of the Lake Pateras Inn. Lake Pateras Inn is one of the most convenient places you can stay if you like to fish for salmon or steelhead on the Upper Columbia River. You can moor your boat at the dock or there are two ramps within yards. They have outdoor power so you can charge your electric motor. Rooms are clean and comfortable and very affordable. Everything you need is right here at the Lake Pateras Inn. We live in an area that's just made for boating fun. And to enjoy it, you need to stop by Bob File Boats and Motors in East Wenatchee. They have a hundred new boats in stock and they have the best used boat inventory in Eastern Washington. 28-foot cruisers to 6-foot dinghies. They have the boat to fit your needs. They welcome trade-ins, too. See what they have to offer by visiting their website at bobfileboats.com. Bob Boats and Motors, we're dealing. Bob Files gonna make you smile.
Gaboon Productions LLC is a full-service video production company right here in the Wenatchee Valley. Gaboon is a term coined by my grandfather, commercial fishing in Alaska. It's when a bunch of fish hit your net all at the same time. We capture life as you see it. From filming those special moments to catching something big, Gaboon Productions LLC can record it, edit it, and save it for you forever. We do weddings, theater productions, concerts, reunions, commercials, and more. Go to GaboonProductions.com on the web, check us out on Facebook, and on YouTube. Gaboon Productions LLC, the little video company capturing your big moments. There we go. Well, what do you know? <laughs> my goodness, here I wasn't paying attention. Turned my back on this rod, and this guy attacked. And I wasn't even aware of it. How about that? There's our first fish, first perch here at Fish Lake. That wasn't down very long. And I think this guy will probably um, either go back or probably be perch bait, as a matter of fact. So. Dave, what is the regulations of perch? I know it, it changes per body of water you go to. That's right, and uh, Fish Lake particular has a new rule. Uh, the department uh, several years ago on uh, some of the more popular waters, it's now a 25 fish limit. Uh, there were some serious abuses in terms of the harvest of these fish, uh, not just perch, but bluegill and some other spiny rays, and so now there's a cap, and there's a 25 fish limit on perch here in Fish Lake. Now, even though, Dave, that was a small one, uh, you mentioned on the screen we're looking for those perch balls, so where there's one, there's more? Typically that's the case, yeah, so that's encouraging. I was about ready to uh, maybe shift our position because I hadn't had a bite or my screen was clear, but the, you know, they're, a lot of times they're pretty tight, so even though I'm not seeing it off the transom, our marker is off the bow, and so we're probably, obviously, still close to some fish. So uh, we're gonna give this spot a little bit longer. Good perch bite. Okay, this is what we're looking for. That's a nice, nice representative fish lake perch right there. <laughs> He's a chunky one. You know, that's you know probably nine inch, eight or nine inch fish. That will definitely give you a couple of nice fillets. That one's going in the box for sure. And they're all just cookie cutter. There's another one going in the box, <laughs> just right. Mr. Grandstrom is hooked up now. Yeah, we found it's the just, spot. It is a pretty good spot, it's actually. Oh, nice perch too, look at that one. Oh my goodness. <laughs> That's a dandy. That's the biggest one all day so far. Absolutely. You got big fish of the day. <laughs> Darn, let's get some more. Yeah, I'm liking this. Well, you sure at the hot hand, not only are you getting all of them now, but you're catching some really nice ones too. Look at that. Now that's a good perch in anybody's book here, yeah. right there. Yeah. That's that's what you want to put a fillet knife yeah. to is a guy like that. Well, I'll tell you, Dave, like you said, you know, we were moving just a skosh, and just about the time we decided to move, we saw a huge bait ball, or not a bait ball, but a perch ball on the screen. Kind of looks like a bait ball. And uh, we threw them out the back, and we've been doing pretty good ever since. Not bad. You know, Fish Lake is certainly one of my favorite places to come to fish for perch. It's only 20 miles from my house. But there are some a lot of great lakes that have perch in them here in central Washington. Some of the biggest perch I've ever seen taken on a consistent basis is at Moses Lake. Uh, we were down there recently fishing for walleye 
and caught one that was at least 14 inches. It was a monster. And that's where they call the perch jumbos. <laughs> <laughs> and they get a lot of them, not only, you know, we got that one in June, but you can also catch them uh, beginning in December, before the ice comes on at Bosas Lake. It can be very good for perch fishing. And then through the ice, if we get a cold enough weather at Moses Lake, excellent perch fishing for jumbles of 13 inches and sometimes bigger. One of my other favorite lakes is near Winthrop, just below, within sight of Sun Mountain, is Patterson Lake. And I've had great days perch fishing up there. Averaging 11 inches, a very nice perch uh, come out of that one in the winter time. Blue Lake, which is just below Park Lake and above Soap Lake, is, has a good perch fishery in the fall now. It closes at the end of October, I believe, and fishing right up to when it closes, it can be very good. But check uh, the department's website and check on some of your favorite lakes. Another one up the, in the Okanagan is called Leader Lake. It has a very good perch population. We've caught perch on Rufus Woods, uh, had very good perch fishing up there as well. So uh, look for one of the, like uh, Terry Rudnick's Guide to Fishing in Washington State and look at, you. I think it's cross-reference by species, for example, and you can find out what lakes have perch in them here in eastern Washington. There's a lot of them, Potholes Reservoir, Soda Lake just below there, uh, some of the other lakes down in the Potholes area also have good populations of perch. There are tons of fun to catch, and boy, everybody's happy at dinner time. Well, thank you for that. You know, cause I did donate a trip. Here's the golf tournament or something. Here we go. Oh! When Robin Kate did that stuff. Right! <laughs> Perfect. Good. There's another bugger. We're on to them. What you got there, Dave? Well, you know, this will happen uh, occasionally when you're out here. Uh, as I said uh, earlier, Fish Lake is famous for nice trout. And uh, here's a good example. Holy cow, look at that. Fish Lake Rainbow. I mean, that is real typical fish for Fish Lake. This time of year. And of course, they're gonna feed all through the summer. And this fall, they're gonna be really nice and big. Mm -hmm. And, you know, we could just as easily have had a triploid on mm -hmm. when that rod went over. And that bit the perch meat, of all things, so. Beautiful fish, aren't they? Beautiful color. Nice fish. Whoa! <laughs> <laughs> Slap the camera. It's one of those for the 3D home audience. <laughs> That's right. Ho <laughs> <laughs> ho! Oh, there's a drag thing on that one. Oh boy. Oh, that's a good one. Absolutely. Yeah. Uh, by the way, I want to tell you, I went out uh, Monday afternoon and uh, I might be interrupting. We're sitting at Fish Lake right now. Eric and I are doing a TV show on perch fishing. Oop. But I, I got a chance to uh, use that to it. Was it tough say that was fun? That was fun. Fun, yeah. What do you know? <laughs> I was just gonna say, let's get out of here. <laughs> oh, nice one too. Oh, ooh, ooh good one. Right. <laughs> Sleeper.
No one is happy about having to repair a vehicle after an accident. However, I was very happy when I chose First Choice Collision Center when I needed this service. I can't say enough about how they treated me. Fast and friendly just doesn't say enough. They have amazing technology to make a damaged vehicle look like new. At First Choice Collision Center, you can expect modern service with old-fashioned values. That was my experience, and I'm sure it will be yours, too. No matter where anglers are heading, whether it's Banks Lake, Lake Roosevelt, or Rufus Woods Reservoir, they all make the same stop. That's at Big Wally's in Cooley City. Here they find everything they need for a successful day on the water. Fuel, ice, a tackle shop, and people who know what they're selling behind the counter. State and tribal licenses, even a hot breakfast or lunch. When you're on the go, don't forget to stop at Big Wally's and visit their website at BigWallysFishing.com. Hooked on toys! Summer on salmon season is in full swing now, and you're not fishing right if you don't have a good selection of colors of the Superbait and Superbait Plug Cut Lures. More salmon are taken on the Upper Columbia with these lures than anything else, and you can find them at the best prices and with the best selection at Hooked on Toys in Wenatchee. Get ready for action. Fish the Superbait and Superbait Plug Cut from Hooked on Toys. Your town Ford is kicking off the season with the best deals of the year. It's the Built for Tough Truck Event. Great power and amazing fuel economy means no compromises. And that's what you get in a truck built for tough. Like the Ford F-150 with a powerful and efficient EcoBoost engine. The power you want and the economy you need. Or Ford Super Duty with its amazing 6.7 liter power stroke turbo diesel. If you're looking for power, payload, towing, economy, your town Ford's got the truck for you. Head to your town Ford in East Wenatchee. You've had a good day on the lake, you caught a mess of perch, and you can't wait to get home and fry them up. Well, here's the easiest way to do that. We've experimented my family over the years and done a lot of different things. But when it gets down to it, when you've got, uh, in some cases, a hundred or more perch that you've got to deal with before you head home, or when you get home, here is a fast way to do just that. What I have here is a, uh, an electric knife. These are very inexpensive. I think this was $25, and I've had it for years, and it still works just fine. What you have to do occasionally is replace these blades. They're $7, I think, for a set of blades that fit this unit. I've got blades from 7 inches to 11 inches. And uh, the easiest way to keep your blade sharp is just to buy new ones. <laughs> they last quite a while, but if you have to replace them, it's pretty easy just to order a new set or get them at your local sporting goods store. Uh, in this case, I can plug this, right, this unit right into the dash of the Kingfisher boat. Uh, most new boats have that ability. You can plug it right in the dashboard or some other part of the boat that'll run this type of gear. Or I have a portable unit. It's the kind of thing you buy to jumpstart a battery. And it's an emergency uh, unit that you keep charged up at home and then throw in your trunk. And if you get stuck, it'll start your battery and it has an emergency light and other things. I found a very stripped down model of that that I just pack around to keep charged. And when I need to uh, fillet a perch, uh, even uh, fillet a salmon, I can pack that little unit around and take it right to the boat ramp or anywhere I want to go. It's very handy to have. So let me just show you the quick and easy way to flay a perch with this electric knife. There's a nice fillet. And then the last step is just cut along these rib bones and just cut that section out with a sharp knife. And 
there is your nice chunk of perch ready to go in the pan. Now understand that you do leave a little bit of meat on the other side of this rib cage, but when you're dealing with lots of perch, you can really go through a pile of them this way. Fish Lake, summertime, July and August. That's fun, huh? That's good stuff. That's good stuff. It's been since I was telling Dave before we went out here on Fish Lake today. I've been to Fish Lake a lot, but I've caught perch accidentally here. Yeah. Haven't caught perch since I was a kid fishing in Big Lake in western Washington. And uh, I think the biggest thing why we don't catch perch or why we don't fish for perch is bones. It's all my dad ever says. There's too oh. many bones, too many uh -huh. bones. Let's not worry about perch. But you showed me a way to fillet them today, Dave, that uh, I think I'm going to go perch fishing more often. Oh man, it is worth it. You know, it takes a little bit of work to learn how to fillet those fish, get rid of those bones, and man, perch are a treat. They are fabulous eating. And you're going to get to enjoy a meal of fresh perch tonight, <laughs> Mr. Grandstrom. And I tell you, the people up here at the Cove, I want to thank them. They're always so helpful. Let me know what's going on and when. And as I say, July and August are great times to be up here to catch perch. And then also through the ice in the winter is another very popular time. And so if you haven't tried it, I would highly suggest it because the meal is worth every bit of effort. And also fun for kids too. If you want to keep get kids out fishing and trout are sometimes hard to locate, although fish lake usually have a good chance of catching trout all the time. But you get into some perch, the kids are going to have a lot of fun. It is fun to catch even better on the plate. That's perch fishing at Fish Lake.